are in for a big treat today. We actually have a big debut of two of our newest stars to the show, and there are two new New Guinea singing dogs. They're Mick and Sydney. They're a little over two years old. So there they come. Right here is Mick, and next to him is Sydney over there. Hi, guys. Now, they may look fairly similar to a dog that you might have at home, but they're actually quite a bit different. They are a recognized breed of dog, but they are considered wild still. When you do get to see them standing with their back legs, you'll notice their back legs kind of bow out a little bit, much more than you'd see in your dog at home. And this is because New Guinea singing dogs are excellent climbers. In fact, they can climb straight up trees, and they're also excellent jumpers, and they act more like a cat out in their own natural environment. Now you hear them doing that singing that I was talking about. Did you guys wonder where they got that name, the New Guinea Singing Dog? That is because they do a wolf-like howl. And that's, what they, that's the noise that they make when they are excited or when they might be a little bit nervous. These guys are really excited to come out here on stage and see everyone. So that's why they're doing it now. But we're also training them to make this noise on cue so that we bring them out here. We can say, there you go. We can ask them to do that beautiful singing that they do do and give you guys a great opportunity to hear what they do sound like out in the wild. Now these guys are actually thought to be one of the oldest breeds of dogs over, living over 6,000 years ago. And they're called the Stone Age dogs because they think that one, they're one of the first dogs that men ever kept as pets. Now their most closest relative or ancestor is the dingo. In the wild now they are not seen at all. In fact, the last time anyone saw them out in the wild was about 25 years ago. They do hear them out in the wild. There's one pack of New Guinea singing dogs that are high up in the mountains that they think still live there because they hear them singing every once in a while. You guys did a great job. Thank you.